So, I'm Jan. I'm from Fedora QA team, and our job is to make sure that nothing goes wrong with Fedora. And when it's yeah, uh, when and when it happens, we just sit there and laugh and, and pretty much uh, do nothing. Yeah. Uh, and Open QA is something we've discovered a uh, uh, year and a year and a half ago, uh, which helped us mostly with the first part of, of our job. So, uh, why do we need Open QA? That's all. Uh, some of you may know what it what it is. Uh, it's uh, installation metrics uh, for every compose that is nominated for testing. Uh, it used to be called test compose. Uh, matrices like this gets created. Uh, there are dozens, dozens of, of different tests, and uh, we had to uh, go through them manually. And uh, we had to go through them and test each manually. So th that means that we have to try whether uh, Fedora installs on uh, empty disk, whether it installs uh, on full disk, and can delete all partitions. And it was tedious work and. Uh, it took a lot of time. Uh, we only could uh, do that uh, uh, several times per week. And then we just discovered OpenQA. Uh, OpenQA fits uh, our workflow uh, miraculously. It's designed to work on something like this. So what actually is OpenQA? This is the main page of OpenQA. Uh, OpenQA is uh, service for OS level testing. It's best suited for testing installations. That means uh, Anaconda for Fedora. Uh, yeah, uh, it is developed by CUZ, OpenCUZ or OpenCUZ, don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it's collaborative effort, which basically means that they are developing it and we are using it. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, we're using it for uh, more, more than uh, more than a year and a half. It's uh, developed in parallel, uh, so hopefully that doesn't doesn't make problem for you. Uh, how uh, OpenQA works? Uh, it uh, spawns uh, Ki uh, Kiwi Move virtual machines. Uh, it connects to them via VNC. Uh, and uh, it simulates user input, uh, which means uh, mouse clicking, uh, moving, uh, keys sending keystrokes. Uh, it takes screenshots of the whole screen, and uh, it does the image recognition and image, in image comparing, and uh, uses this for uh, doing uh, like a process like the user would do it, uh, which means that we can use uh, unmodified ISOs uh, for example, with Doctail, we had to uh, modify the ISOs, but correct programs here and uh, so on. Uh, with OpenQA, we can use the same ISOs that they are, uh, which are in the trees, and uh, just put them and test them as a whole. Uh, yeah, which fits again, which fits our use case because we want to test uh, what we are develop um, delivering to our users. Uh, this is architecture of OpenQA. Uh, OpenQA consists of two parts. Uh, one is this part this is actually called OpenQA. This other part is called OS Auto Inst, but the whole project is called OpenQA. Uh, this is a web application. Uh, there you can review tests, so you can uh, uh, develop new tests, at, le at least from the screenshot side. Uh, you can see progress of, of running tests and so on. And uh, it spawns, for, uh, it uses workers. Uh, you can use as many workers as, as you want, so uh, it scales pretty well. It uh, sends jobs to workers, uh, and here runs a project called OS Auto uh, which again uh, spawns virtual machines and connects to them via VNC. And then it sends results back to the the web application. Uh, what this isn't suited for, uh, we are, uh, we don't want to use it for uh, something that uh, that needs a human interve interve intervention. For example, we have a test that uh, you can submit a bug to Bugzilla from 
uh, Anaconda. Uh, and then you have to go to Bugzilla by yourself and close the bug. There's, this is something we don't want to do uh, automatically because there, uh, then we would have bots spawning our Bugzilla. Uh, and also it would be pretty uh, hard to know the uh, exact URL, URL where a uh, bug was created. Uh, we are not using it for non-installation related tasks, uh, uh, checksums or something like that. This is suited mainly for uh, installation, but we have also uh, some desktop, uh, desktop and uh, also server tests uh, in OpenQA. It, it's, yeah, it, it works well even for those things. Uh, and uh, another thing, uh, for what OpenQA isn't suited for uh, is uh, where you need some specialized hardware. Uh, it uses QEMU. It doesn't have to, but the uh, main use case is, is that it uses QEMU. So uh, you have to uh, have all your hardware virtualized in QEMU. So if you want to test a firmware, firmware rate or something like that, you can't because uh, you would have to uh, get firmware rate into, open, uh, into QEMU. Uh, we are testing, for example, ARM with it. We can emulate ARM. Uh, we are testing uh, uh, UFI, uh, but uh, not, for example, RAID. Uh, what is pain in the ass with OpenQA? Uh, there are lots, lots of, of uh, font changes, for example. Uh, this is fabricated example. This, this didn't happen. But uh, we have a uh, lot of font, change, font changes uh, last year. Uh, it's, it's subtle, it's something that uh, user don't really uh, see. But uh, uh, even though that OpenQA uses uh, uh, only partial, uh, you, can, you can set a uh, level how similar the images uh, have to be. But even, even then, uh, Sometimes the tests failed only because uh, the button has moved or has a different, different color or, or different font or, or something like that. And then you have to go through all your screenshots uh, and rework them. Uh, we have uh, Adam Williamson in our team, so this doesn't pose a problem for us because every time this happens, Adam just goes through all our tests, uh, all our tests and all our screenshots and and do this. I don't know how, how he's doing, but yeah. Pretty much well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how developing tests for OpenQA works. Uh, so first time uh, we are we are gonna we are gonna uh, develop test that tests uh, Fedora installation. It's basic test that Fedora installs in default configuration, and then that it boots into login prompt. Uh, first, you have to uh, think what you want to, what do you want to code, what do you want to test. Uh, I have video. So this is, yeah, it's shown only on my laptop. Yeah. So this is uh, something uh, testers should know. This is virtual machine with uh, Fedora 22 <laughs> running. Uh, and you have to, is it running? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you have to go uh, through the installation by yourself and, and consider uh, what, what do you want to, what do you want to, what do you want to achieve with test? So first, uh, Fedora needs to boot. Uh, here you, you will wait, uh, until it shows uh, language selection screen. Yeah, here we go. Uh, then notice.